Hi there, sign of Aquarius. This is Kim here to do your reading, guys. This is going to be for your next 48 hours. Thanks for joining me. Um, as always, I ask that your spirit guides and your angels join us as we get messages. It's for the greater good, always for um, the highest timeline that you're trying to achieve. Um, and these messages come from a positive place with loving intentions. So... What are we looking at, Aquarius? I'm starting with uh, the archetype deck from Kim Cran's Wild Unknown. And I'm going to pull one or two of these. Just depends on what wants to come out. And then we're going to do a Celtic cross with the Urban Tarot. And then at the end, I'm going to pull um, something from the Sacred Rebels Oracle. Hero, <laughs> that's crazy. Shuffled it and everything. And then I have the vow on the bottom. Could these be like one part, like a duality type reading where this is like lust and passion and then this is like serious, deep commitment? Is it one or the other? Oh, well, what we have right now is Eero, which is... Yeah, lust or passion or something like that. Desire, it's that. It could be something that turns into the vow, right? Could be talking about hierophant energy. I'm really getting like penthouse energy, um, like extravagant, having extravagant uh, luxuries, having luxuries, or that would seem like a compared to every everyday people's we would think it was a luxury. Okay. You could be giving or receiving a gift, a diamond. Or Aquarius. Underlying issue, bottom of the deck, is the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, normally what I look at, when I look at this, I think of somebody missed out an opportunity on whoever the sign is that I'm reading for. Well, public does some, maybe something new. Maybe this is true love coming in, real partnership, real commitment, possibly. Wow. You have the wheel of fortune. Let me grab this amethyst. We got lots of power here. Whoo. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo, Cancer, the Two of Cups. Feel that energy. Oh my goodness. The Eight of Wands. Mind you, I'm taking reversals. I, I like getting all kinds of um, messages, but these are, ooh, you're going to get hit by Cupid's arrow. In the past, you were done. You were done. You were done in the sun. Scorched thirsty <laughs> you're done with here um justice in reverse something feels like it wasn't fair or is not fair still isn't fair has to do with travel or um possibly changing travel plans with the chariot in reverse how you are feeling well okay so with the devil energy i would be watching out for materialism right so when we give something else power in our life it can sometimes be self-sabotaging sometimes we give things power that are not good for us right there's that empress energy as the what you're influenced by this um, is loving, giving energy. It's very lucky. It's fruitful. It's caring. Maybe a passion project too. Hopes or fears. The five of wands in a reverse. You want, just want everybody to get along. Don't really want to be um, in a conflict. And you want something to wrap up. You want to get closure on something. Um, close the door, get ready to open a different one. Or somebody is transitioning. It can mean that. It can also mean transformation. 
right? But something is being made fair here. I feel like it's a there's a bigger perspective here. There's a bigger perspective that if you could see, then you would understand why some things are super great and then some things are not because it's a bigger perspective thing. All right, so let's get um, let's get the little tarot and go ahead and clarify here. So this is a good. Um, this is really actually a good reading, guys, because you have good luck, good fortune. Sometimes the chariot is in reverse when it doesn't feel like we're getting anywhere, but we are. Um, this wheel of fortune is extremely like pretty. It's like part of royalty here. Wheel of fortune. It's it's something being blessed upon um, with it. Something within this something within a partnership it's moving along with swiftness you possibly are being hit with cupid's arrow with this eight of wands there's really fast communication that that puts you and spins you on top of this wheel what's the past energy about that could also be a leo not present with the sun card because it's in reverse it's letting go of the past so five in the cup five of cups in the reverse and the magician you manifested a situation where we let go of holding on to the past and we manifested something brand new for ourselves. And that's what it is. There's the magician. So what is this? Um, I feel like this might be getting your justice. What's this? Or it, it could be like somebody that you know that has court day and maybe that court day has been changed or rescheduled or something. Sometimes it means that to me. Is something really not fair? There's a complete reinvention. So something had to completely be destroyed. Like you got hurt one too many times. Death by a thousand paper cuts. Um, you do hold a vision. You hold a vision close to you. You let go of the anger and you let go of the heartache or betrayal. And you're focused. The two of wands is you're really focused and you're passionate about reinventing yourself having something be completely brand new to you all right so we might be dealing with our addictions maybe dealing with the capricorn energy i've got two capricorn energies here this scorpio and this was um cancer let's see what's the devil about what's the devil energy about this is how you're feeling. So you could be dealing with vices or addictions. You could be dealing with a Taurus who deals with their addictions or vices too. Because I have King of Pentacle energy, which is Taurus energy. Um, it could be about materialism because of doing so well. Like in, you know what I mean? Doing so well in the material world that it gets... At times it can be like you can get sucked in, right? And just being aware of that, I feel like. No more competition. No more silly games. All right, here's the Empress energy. Whatever you create at this time. Um, oh, wait a minute. Let me go back. Let me go back to the chariot in reverse. Because this is the future energy of it might feel like something has been stopped or isn't going forward. But it is. All right. What is the chariot about? Might have to do with somebody's driver's license may have to do with um, this, the foundations, um, the foundations of the family, of the home with the Emperor card. Your, your goal is to move forward in love, not stopped in fear. So dealing with authority here uh, may, like I said, have something to do with somebody's driver's license. Could, could. This could be Aries energy. Let's um, get something else with that Aries energy, which is really good. That means you have like a positive um, mindset on your strategy and it's moving forward with love. That's part of the strategy. So it will take you everywhere to think that way. It will take you everywhere. Hierophant in reverse could be a um, could be something is revealed with the moon in reverse regarding a commitment or a way of doing something that seems like it's non-traditional. So you could have had a deal with authority, right? Or someone in your family. And there could be something that's allowing something 
and it's it's like there's an allowance because we're they're doing something a little non-traditional that that means it's good for someone here okay empress energy what is empress energy about page of swords could be getting more information doing your research getting information uh it could be like your um, idea is to birth something to life, but there's, but like they're saying, use new information. Don't be afraid to change with the times, uh, with the way that you create things too now. Don't be afraid to use new information. What's this? Don't want any drama. No more drama. No more games. The five of wands in reverse. That's just not wanting to argue, I think about somebody that had left and that you lost patience for or lost patience waiting for somebody to return possibly what is the death card about it's is either change and transformation or like i said it's a transition for somebody or it's an ending or tying up of loose ends or shoot it's a completion look for four of wands is something that was supposed to happen you participate you're participating, you're part of this bigger than life issue. Somebody really could just be dealing with some serious health issues right now, because I'm seeing that with the um with the nurse uniform. So yeah, but there's gonna be a celebration regarding somebody's health. So that's good. Um, your sole purpose. What else? Oh my goodness, forgiveness. Look at that. What makes this wheel of fortune come in? The judgment card. When you have a completion and you release um, blame and you release uh, holding on to resentment, anger, when you release that, that provides a completion and then there's a celebration. All right, Sagittarius energy. And look here, we got nine of cups on the bottom. <laughs> Wish granted. Nine of cups on the bottom. All right. So I'm going to pull from Sacred Rebels Oracle now. For Aquarius. Let's see what we have for Aquarius. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Well, we got two. I'm scaring myself here. What's wrong with it? What? It's shock of the new, and I literally scared myself. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. So, collaborative dreaming. You're part of something much bigger. It's a collaborative dream. And shock of the new, you got to be able to use those new tools to help you manifest. I feel like let go of the heavy energy because you're really ready to manifest. So let me go to the book for you guys and um, tell you properly what they really want you to know from these. Sometimes it's a little different, but um, I truly did get like shocked feeling. So you may be surprised um, at how well something's truly going to turn out. Um, yeah, it says there are rumblings and stirrings of a creative life force happening right now, deep in the undercurrents of your being. If you're very attuned or sensitive, you may have consciously felt this already with excitement, discomfort, or both. Don't be nervous if the rumble of change turns into a mighty roar that, the, that rocks boats, bursts forth as novel ideas, and changes things in a way that is out of your control. The old way is on its way out. And the guidance here is that you are about to encounter something new and different in your life. Do not reject things at this moment, no matter how small or insignificant they may seem. Because they might not be, right? Life will show you the way. Wish granted to nine of cups. 28. Now that was six. And that is our year. 28. Collaborative dreaming. Your heart is big enough to dream not only for yourself, but for a new humanity. Imagine a world healed with respect, understanding, and with a community that fosters life, 
Even your dreams that relate to you alone will contribute positively to the greater good because that is what's in the nature of your heart. You're being asked to honor your growing desire to co-create with conscious, like-minded people. Your collaborative dreaming is heart-inspired. It's a win-win, bringing mutual enhancement to yourself and others. Creative endeavors, particularly involving groups, can bring up unresolved issues about being valued, heard, or capable. They also trigger disputes about taking responsibility or inflame insecurities about being cast into unfamiliar roles of leadership or having to follow. This might happen for you and for others or all involved. Ooh. Stay in your integrity and honor what you feel. Call on unconditional love each day and evening. Say, call. I call on unconditional love. Please help and guide me in this project. And what really matters is that you hear your own voice. All right. That is what I've got for you guys. Let's do, um, let's close it out with a lover's oracle. Lover's oracle message time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Give it time. And then I have, you have a secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Secret admirer. All right. Thank you all. Sending you light and love. Bye-bye.